Welcome to Mindfulness Meditation on Mathematics. There have been many studies on the positive effects of mindfulness meditation, and I will attempt to see if we cannot tweak mindfulness meditation to help you prepare for your math quizzes and exams. First of all, I'm not a meditation expert and am probably better at mindless meditation than mindfulness meditation. Mindless meditation involves thinking why Madonna, who is around 50 years old, still dresses like she's 18, or whether I will ever use algebra in real life. One of the more challenging things about learning to meditate is to empty your mind and ignore distractions. Of course, for some of you, this will probably not be too challenging since I have seen you wander around campus or sitting in class with an empty mind. This session hopes to help you become a better math student and help prepare you to take quizzes and exams by emptying your mind of mindless junk and focusing on what really matters, such as, you really should have read your math book by now, right? This meditation session will benefit all, regardless of whether this is your first meditation session or you are experienced at sitting still and doing nothing. You know who you are. I've observed you in the classroom sitting still, doing nothing, while looking at your smartphone. So let us start with the basics. First, find a comfortable place to sit. It could be on the floor, on cushions, chair, couch, or any flat surface. However, I would not recommend sitting on your roommate, at least not until you've asked. If you are sitting, please make sure that both feet are firmly on the floor. For those of you who want to take off your shoes, please check with your roommate or person sitting next to you and give them a heads up warning that you are about to stank up the room. Sit up straight and slightly lean forward. Kind of like when you are talking to a friend and want to seem interested in the conversation by leaning slightly forward, even though you have no interest whatsoever in what they are saying. If you are sitting on the floor or cushion, try to arrange yourself into the lotus position. The loose translation of the phrase lotus position means position which is difficult to get into and even more difficult to get out of. Also, if you are sitting on the floor, try not to sit on yesterday's pizza because your roommate may want it for breakfast tomorrow. Once you have found a comfortable position, we will focus on breathing. Yes, this is something we do every day and some of you had an early start when as a youngster you held your breath in order to get something from your parents. Alright, let's focus on breathing. Take a deep breath so that you can feel your lungs expand. Hold it in for a few seconds. Place your tongue on the roof of your mouth and exhale. Blow all the carbon dioxide out of your lungs. Repeat these steps until you build a simple rhythm of inhaling and exhaling. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Try to see air coming in through your nose as it travels down your throat into your lungs. Exhale and expel all the carbon dioxide. Try to listen to the pulse of your heart and count its beats. There are several places to count your heartbeat, but the most popular area is around your neck to the side of your windpipe. You count the number of heartbeats in 15 seconds and then multiply by 4. If you don't know how to multiply 15 times 4, this math meditation session is probably not for you. And if your heartbeat is quite a bit over 140, you are probably freaking out because you never opened up your math book and learned its lessons. Well, my friends, this is a session on meditation, not miracles. Okay, now that we're settling down into a meditation state, there are several types of meditation. One is to visualize your breathing. Another is to focus on an object in the room or around you. No, the television, laptop, or smartphone does not count as an object of focus. If you are easily distracted, close your eyes and focus on the space between your eyes. You know, that empty space that should have been filled with practical knowledge by now. Of course, during any meditation session, there will be interruptions. Someone walking around you, a noise in the hallway, the toilet being flushed, your stomach gurgling because you really did eat that pizza you sat on, didn't you? Acknowledge the interruption and return to your focus, whether it's breathing or mantra. Mantra meditation is based on a sound, a word, or a phrase. Since this is a mathematics meditation session, we will focus on math-specific mantras. The first mantras we will use are called the area mantras. For example, 
we know that the area of a circle is pi r squared. I know, I know, pi r round, but this is math, not home economics. So the area mantra would go something like this. Pi r squared. Of course, you don't have to use such a low, sexy voice as mine. You can use a high, squeaky voice, but the objective is to repeat the mantra. So let's try again. Pi r squared. Let's try another area mantra. How about the area of a rectangle? That mantra would go something like this. The area of a rectangle is times width. How about the area of a triangle? The mantra would go something like this. The area of a triangle is half base times width. Of course, you can repeat one mantra at a time till you really remember the formula. Now let's try the parallelogram mantra. The area of a parallelogram is base times height. A little more difficult uh, mantra would be the trapezoid area mantra. And it would go something like this. The area of the trapezoid is one half height times base one plus base two. As you can see, it's a more difficult mantra, but if you repeat it enough, it'll stick to you like the bad lyrics of a Lady Gaga song. So those were the area mantras. Don't worry if you didn't get them all, because I will repeat them when we actually start the math meditation mantras. But let's begin and practice a little bit. Let's begin slowly. Close your eyes, inhale slowly, hold it, exhale and blow out all the air out of your lungs. Inhale slowly, exhale slowly. Keep your eyes closed. No fair peeking and looking at your smartphone. Inhale slowly, exhale slowly. Breathe, repeat after me. The area of a circle is pi r squared. The area of a rectangle is length times width. The area of a triangle is one half base times width. The area of a parallelogram is base times height. The volume of a rectangle is length times width times height. Focus on your breath. Try to visualize the mantra formulas into your mind. Slowly repeat each mantra. If your thoughts are interrupted, acknowledge the interruption and return to your mantras. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. For the next minute, visualize only on the mantra formulas. Do not repeat them. Visualize them. Inhale and exhale quiet. For the next 60 seconds, focus. Wake up! 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 Sorry, I thought I heard some of you snoring. Anyway, keep visualizing the mantras and then softly repeat them. There. That's all there's to it. Perform the mindfulness math meditation mantra each night by replacing new formulas for the ones we did today. If you pass your class, thank the mindfulness meditation mantras. If you did not pass your math class, it's because you probably thought that this was mindless math meditation, not mindfulness meditation. Until the next time, keep breathing.